I'm Chef Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Foodell Kitchen. Olive oils. I you know I use them a lot in my cooking and not just cooking. I eat it. I dip my bread in it. I put it in my salads. All kinds of uses. I go through gallons of this stuff. But the labeling can sometimes be a little confusing. So let's have a quick look at what extra virgin means, or what olive oil means, what 100% pure olive oil means, so that when you go to buy olive oil, you know what to look for. First of all, let's think about extra virgin olive oil. That is the Primo olive oil. These are labeling requirements that have been instituted in Europe. The USDA does not recognize these European uh, labeling factors that go into olive oil. However, most of our olives come from Spain, Italy, Greece, and Turkey, so that's where the labeling comes from. If you see something that says extra virgin olive oil, that means that the oil was extracted using no chemical processes, just physical processes, and the acidity in the resulting oil is less than 0.8%. That's extra virgin olive oil, and it has to taste good too. There is a subjective factor to determining what is considered extra virgin. If you see virgin olive oil, same, uh, same criteria, except the acidity can be a bit higher. It can go up to 2% acidity. Now, if you see something like this that says Bella 100% olive oil, 100% pure olive oil, imported, gourmet's choice, all kinds of great labeling, this is your lowest quality olive oil. It's probably a blend of, all of, of virgin olive oil and refined olive oil. Refined olive oil means the oil was extracted with chemical processes, and what that does is it helps balance the acidity. If you have a really, really acidic fruit, then you can balance that by adding some chemicals to it, and you can make something that tastes pretty good and is edible. This has a very light flavor, won't add a lot to your dishes. You'd probably be probably be better off using a canola oil instead of 100% pure olive oil. Now when you look at extra virgin olive oil, there's going to be a variety of prices and that gets very confusing. Since I go through a lot of it, I tend to buy it in bulk. Now if you look at the labels, I, I really like this brand, Cola Vita, and especially I use this when I'm going to be eating it raw, when I'm just spreading it on, or I'm dipping my bread in it, or I'm sprinkling it on salads. When you really want a good flavor, buy an olive oil that you really love to eat. This is from Italy, and if you look at the label, it tells you it's first cold pressed. First cold pressed means that it was created without, uh, without exceeding a temperature of 80 degrees, and that's just important because it helps retain some of the vitamins and minerals and makes for a better flavor, or that's the thought. First cold pressed doesn't really mean anything in the term first because there's only one pressing of olives anyway. Now what you want to look for also is the country of origin. It might say Italian, it might even be called something that sounds Italian, but if you look at the fine print, often it doesn't come from Italy. This though says three times, I believe, on this label, product of Italy, from obtained exclusively from our olives harvested and processed in Italy. So you know this is Italian. We do have very strict country of origin labeling issues in this country, so when it comes in, we have to know exactly where we're getting our food. This is a, about half the price of the Cola Vita. This is a Whole Foods brand, and I buy it, like I say, in big containers because I use a lot of it. This also says that it's 100% Italian, extra virgin olive oil, and it says it's cold pressed. It really has all of the same criteria that the Cola Vita has, but it comes at a much lower price point. So when you find something you like, buy, big, buy it in as big a quantity as you can. You're going to save a ton of money. And if you use it as much in your cooking as I do, that's going to add up to a lot of dollars over the course of the year. Enjoy your olive oil. Go to some olive oil tastings. Find one that you love and use it all the time. Bon appetit. This is almost as tall as me. <laughs>